And this is Sarah and Ronnie. Ronnie's on film. Sarah's in chair. Plants on table. Cats outside. Bed on floor. House mess. This sounds like our place. And that's Vio. First time we're seeing her live on film. This is how we play with our cat. Look at this. <laughs> This tall boy or girl is peas. You can see he's got little vines. And that's the peas. This is spinach. It's been de aphid. We got basil. We got parsley. Beets. These are beets. More parsley. More parsley, please. More basil. This is a special one, actually. More basil. You can see we got a what Sarah calls a volunteer. That's what everybody Vegetable. calls them. Vegetable. It's, uh, it's a tomato plant. You see this little guy? This is a tomato plant. It came from our compost. And these things are green onions. These are, those are what we call aphids. They're like insects. So we're collecting them. If you look on our Q-tip. Hold on. Keep a Q-tip there. Those are aphids. Mistreat our plants by not watering often. Just cause I'm busy. I'm writing my thesis right now. And, and we're moving. And we're moving. And I got 30 goats to take care of with my brother. 30 goats. So that's just the brief introduction of who this woman is. So the reason we have aphids, I believe, there's a couple reasons. Partly it's because we're doing an indoor garden right now. So there's not enough outside predators to help prevent from Ah, no! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So we need natural predators, and since we don't have them, if one predator comes in, it will just have a great time with all of our plants. And that's what happened here. I got some free compost from the city, which is not a good idea if you can't see the compost. So it's just in bags, which means it's kind of like basically landfill, extra, semi-compost. So that introduced some bugs, and then we haven't been able to get rid of them. So we have to do this for now until we can get them outside. It's still cold right now. This video is sponsored by Q-Tips. Thank you, Q-Tips. It would be... If you don't know what to do with your Q-Tips anymore, stick them up your nose. That's their logo. That's their, that's what they paid us to say. <laughs> we didn't. We're making a million dollars from that. When I dropped this, I think I killed all the aphids. So you were really helping. <laughs> and that's it, guys. That's the video. That's that's the video. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, because we're Canadian. Sorry. Um. Mm, smells nice. Oh, look, a little bugger. First aphid caught on camera ever. This is the newest species found only in this apartment. Does not know he's gonna die. Look, I guys I actually just have like my head doesn't stop out he's of frame. Gone? It continues. It helps to grow plants if you whistle on them. It's, it's bullshit. Not true. <laughs> Jesus. Catching them. <laughs> Grandma's sleeping. I think you did get all the aphids off of this one. Good job. You hear that? YouTube? That's how you do it. That's how you're doing it. You just drop your plants like it's hot. Ooh. Over, back, over, up. Yeah, I can do that. So now you're gonna have two and you have to do it again. Did we get all the aphids? I think so. Sick! 
the key when you're in this position is to not look at any side. It is the biggest it's key. It's the most terrifying thing. You can regrow a lot of your food by just sticking it in a cup of water, but it doesn't work all the time. Plants are so gross. Plants are so gross. So is everything. So is everything. You can't get away from it. When you do the turns, is this how you solve? Look at that. That's a fully solved Rubix QB. Gotta check on the cat. Delicious. Good for the teeth. Oh my gosh. Oh, we should make that salad in my mix. Oh yeah. We should. Oh. One million billion dollars.